that. You trying to get your appeal done. Them motherfuckers want to talk, you know what I'm saying, regular to you and shit like that. You got to know that. That as soon as you get, as soon as, dog, I'm trying to tell you now, the whole world going to change. The whole world change once you're behind that wall. If you ain't just no stand-up nigga that, that already put your stain down, you going to have to goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Because you coming in on a rape charge. And a rape charge, like them niggas don't be like really cut like that for real. Like you ain't really never did no time and shit like that. And you finna go up here doing, this ain't no counting shit. You ain't no pedophile. Them, them old white men with the white hair that, that fuck little kids, them motherfuckers get two months in a hospital and get to come back home. Nigga, you fuck a, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a bitch with no, like, a bitch that said you can fuck, but she said that she told you to stop and shit like that because you ain't give a, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, the, the password to your phone or whatever the fuck this hoe wanted. Oh, yeah, you getting 30 years for that. Real 30 years. Paint you like a real fucking rapist killer. If you're not getting notifications on YouTube, go on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. That's how we're going to get your notification. I make a post about 30 minutes to an hour before I drop a video. You'll never be in the dark ever again. I always post the snippet and the thumbnail on my Instagram and on my Facebook. So the Facebook and Instagram is always on the stream. Every stream, every fucking video. Go there. to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, but more importantly, fearless leader, founder, and creator of the Men Too Movement. This is Are You Fucking Serious? Chris Brown just got bammed in Paris. He's being detained at this moment. No speak, no talks of bail and no shit like this. The nigga just got hit for fucking rape, dog. Chris Brown watches this show. It's been confirmed that, that he actually watches this show from time to time and shit like that. Just like a lot of these other motherfuckers, obviously, you know what I'm saying, are watching the show. Just like a lot of you niggas. The nigga who got bammed in Atlanta for dancing on that bitch in uh, the whole Jasmine in, um, in Atlanta at opera and that whole call rape that nigga watched the show so you niggas is watching this fucking show and you still and I'm trying to figure out what's going on so you watch this show when you when you're in your right mind and shit like that but when tempta when temptation hit you're not able to enact what you heard on the show you can hear it, but you won't enforce it. You won't execute what must be done for you to be successful. As soon as you start shooting, bitches want to start calling this shit. That shit's retarded. Look, January 22nd, 6 p.m., I'll be going live for the first time on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, get over there. I said I was going to do it this year, so we're doing this shit. 
Um, I'm speaking to AO Nation. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Um, the AO Nation donation conversation. We have that every other Sunday. I shout y'all out when y'all donate and shit like that. But we doing more at this fucking point in time because y'all know YouTube don't pay shit. You know what I'm saying? NBA 2K and stole my goddamn shirts and shit like that. You can see that shit on YouTube. Uh, with the shirts, y'all know the shirts. Uh, any shirt you want, any head where you want. The shirts are going for... Um, 15 all shirts all and all the headwear is going for 10 for the month of january and shit like that but we speaking on the 22nd any question y'all got scream at me also listen listen to this goddamn music that y'all hear in the background it's not just music i find online it's real artists with real fucking projects that are you know what i'm saying trying to promote themselves listen to that shit get down in the comment section let it be known how the fuck you feel most of the time they'll be in the comment section so you can tell them personally what the fuck they need to do or how you like their music and shit like that if you're an artist that's trying to get some real exposure with real people not that instagram sponsor bullshit Hit me up, but don't hit me up until you're ready to make a transaction. Prices start at $200, go up to $2,000, depending on what you want to do, whatever like that. But do not hit me up until you're ready to go to work. I'm not, I don't, I, I don't have no time to play. I'm trying to sue these fucking folks. Get back to the video. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love. Chris Brown is at a level. I was just talking about this. And this is what we're going to do moving forward into 2019. I'm working behind the scenes on a petition to get certain things rolling because it's too easy for a nigga to be arrested because a bitch says something with no fucking physical evidence. Everybody's asking, uh, so I'm not sure about physical evidence. I don't know if they have any physical evidence. I'm not sure about the physical, physical evidence. I don't know about There's no physical evidence. There's no physical evidence. That precedent was thrown out the window when Bill Cosby went to jail. The evidence shit gets thrown out the window when Bill Cosby went to jail. That was so, that was so fucking important. The Bill Cosby case was so fucking important because it had to do it had it was all about words. It was all about words. That was, no nobody understood why I was so adamant about that whole situation. That shit set a precedent. I couldn't believe that motherfuckers let that shit go down that way. That shit set a precedent. It gave bitches such a dangerous weapon to just be able to say it. And it will be so. He raped me. When? About three weeks ago. Where were you at? Um, in his car. In his car. Of course it's not going to be a bitch that just walking down the street. It's going to be a bitch that you know. Probably a bitch that you were fucking. Your ex-girlfriend from eight years ago. I'm just now getting the courage to step forward. He used to always rape me. And, it just <laughs> and they down the road. They're on the way. You can't properly protect yourself from a bitch in the past. But a bitch right now in the present. My nigga. I ask you, do you put it past her? It's the same question of like, you know what I'm saying? I can't ask you that question because I, I, I wanted to ask you the question of like, would you would you risk it as far as would you fuck the whole raw? You just met the bitch, would you fuck her raw? Dumbass question because in a moment, of course a nigga would. Let's get down to business. First off, from this point forward, if you get bammed, because I'm not going to keep doing this shit. If you get bammed with a bitch from this point forward, it's on you. Any more cases like this after January 22nd, if you get 
jammed up with a bitch on some rape shit, whatever like that, sexual assault shit, I'm going to make a video janking and laughing at you. Because I've told you what to do. Two, I'm going to tell you what needs to happen going forward. So if you do fuck with a bitch, you won't be charged with this shit because you'll have your shit together. From this point forward, any sexual contact or any contact that you have with a bitch, it needs to be recorded. The time that y'all spend together needs to be recorded. If you have to do it on the phone, you don't have to be on no social media. Just record it. Have the actual video of whatever go down. And tell the hoe, hey, I record all my sexual intercourse. Um, it's just, it's, it's fucked up out here. I, I, it's just people lying and shit like that. If you let that hoe tell you, oh, I don't know who the fuck you think I am. If you let the hoe tell you that, first off, if you not at that level to where you can tell a hoe that, then you don't deserve to be fucking no way because you're not where you're you're trying to go. I'm assuming if you're an AO Nation member, you have goals, you have aspirations. And if you achieve those said goals and aspirations, a bitch is going to know that you're not no average nigga, that she can just do average shit with, like, you not, I'm not with that average shit because I'm not an average nigga. I got a real, I got a real big shit going on. So, when you tell a hoe that you have to record all your sexual encounters, or maybe, and the reason I say, the reason I say tell her and not have a hidden camera is because I really want you to be at that level to where you can tell a hoe. Because Chris Brown does this, and I can't believe that he didn't do it on this occasion. What he does is, he um he takes all these cell phones and shit like that. Nick Cannon said he get them to sign a permission slip, which doesn't mean shit because a hoe can sign it and say that, yeah, I, I did want to have sex and I agreed to have sex, but midway through, I didn't want to do it anymore and I told him to stop and he didn't. It's over. It's over. Consent doesn't mean anything. Consent doesn't mean shit. Consent means I, I find you attractive, I do want to have sex, but... After two hours, I was done. I didn't want to have sex anymore, and he kept going. And they have a valid point. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, it has to be recorded. It has to be recorded. If you not at a air, like, I. The reason why the hidden camera shit would be hard is because. Well, nah, the hidden camera shit, it, it, it should, it, I mean, the hidden camera shit, it will work, it will work. If that's what you got to do, then you can do that shit, whatever like that. But, you, you really need to make sure, it, it's, it's a crap shoot. You need to have cameras everywhere in the house. Because if you got in the bedroom, and this whole just happened to say that y'all was fucking in the living room, and you don't got a camera in there, then you, it's over with. It's over. Because the only footage you have is of the bedroom. She'll still, I, and I'm saying like, but if you got the hidden camera, it'll show. That won't say, dog. I, I'm, I'm trying to break it down for you because this shit is real, dog. It's real shit. Um, it's real shit right now, dog. Niggas is fighting for their life at this very fucking moment because a bitch said something. Niggas is in prison right now at this very fucking moment trying to come, like, trying to get an appeal. Like, having to put their paperwork through the little slot. Throw that shit up under the goddamn door and hoping the damn CEO take that shit where the fuck he to take it. Trying to get in touch with your lawyer. They didn't, you on the phone and shit like that. So, what the lawyer said? You ain't talk, why you ain't talk to him? Lock down, lock down. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, look, uh, so hold on, you saying, did, why you ain't talk to him? No, I'm, I'm, I know you, I, I, I know it's, listen. I, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, we ain't got, not, now I'm up for want to get all uh, crazy with you. This the hole on the phone, like, you, you in print, like, yo, hey, listen, what's all right about? Motherfucker talking crazy and shit like that. You trying to get your appeal done, them motherfucker want to talk, you know what I'm saying, regular to you and shit like that. You gotta know that. That as soon as you get, as soon as, dog, I'm trying to tell you now. 
The whole world going to change. The whole world change once you're behind that wall. If you ain't just no stand-up nigga that, that already put your stain down, you're going to have to goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Because you're coming in on a rape charge. And a rape charge, like, them niggas don't be, like, really cut like that for real. Like, you ain't really never did no time and shit like that. And you finna go up here doing, this ain't no counting shit. You ain't no pedophile. Them, them old white men with the white hair that, that fuck little kids, them motherfuckers get two months in a hospital and get to come back home. Nigga, you fuck a, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a bitch with no, like, a bitch that says you can fuck, but she said that she told you to stop and shit like that because you ain't give a, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, the, the password to your phone or whatever the fuck this hoe wanted. Oh, yeah, you getting 30 years for that. Real 30 years. Paint you like a real fucking rapist killer. And I'm telling you, if you think I'm bullshitting with you, Ask this nigga Dominique Williams. Ask the countless fucking people that have been arrested for rape first because a bitch said that he raped me. Story is fucked up from the very beginning. Story looked like bullshit. The statement they made is bullshit. Detective know that shit and they still put a goddamn warrant out. Have the motherfucking marshals at your door like you fucking Saddam Hussein. Because the nothing ass bitch that you was fucking with that you knew was a nothing ass bitch. Or crazy ass bitch. You knew it was something wrong with this motherfucker. You knew something was off. But you continue to fuck right now. You still fucking with this hoe. She watching the same shit you watching. Matter of fact, she probably watching more. This hoe might be looking up defense for a, a, a rape case. She's looking up a defense. She trying to see what you can do after she says it. Um, what happens if you get caught lying about someone raping you? What hap What are the consequences for uh, being found guilty of Making a false rape charge, rape um, uh, report, or whatever the fuck. These hoes trying to find out what happens, and nothing does. And it's so fucked up because that's why some niggas get to come home from prison. is because nothing happens to a bitch if she gets caught lying. When I say nothing, you get a little bullshit. Maybe six months, but you'll get probate bullshit. But... What needs to take place is, yes, there are real rape victims out there. There are women who have been raped. There are men who've been raped. I actually have a video. Um, I think I'm going to play that video at the beginning of this, um, at the beginning, at the very beginning. Um, and I should do a whole story on this shit. But it shows a big girl sexually assaulting a man on the train. I think it's a joke because they got their name on the screen and shit like that. But if that was the other way around, of course, it would be it, everything would be different, a different reaction, and everything like that. But what it shows is how accepted that if you imagine, just imagine a big black dude trying to fuck with a skinny light-skinned girl it looks all fucked up do you know that that fat bitch could call rape on that that little light-skinned dude and they'll still go fucking arrest him don't get me started dog don't get me started because i dog, i really believe that there should be a weight limit i believe if you're if you're over 240 pounds you that you you can't call rape you can't call rape you can't call rape. And I said just like that, dog, because this shit went too far. Like, it, it's too far gone, dog. It's too far gone. In two days, we have two niggas in jail fucked up. Bitches protected like a motherfucker. Dog, until we can get this shit together, fall the fuck back. Watch Pornhub. 
X videos. I'm giving you what the fuck you need, dog. You can either do that or put the hidden cameras in the house. Make sure them hoes is on record. Make sure them hoes actually work. But it's like, the thing is, the way I feel, you should tell a hoe, hey, I record all my sexual encounters. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just got to be careful out here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't nothing personal with you. It's just, it's just crazy out here right now. I feel like you should do that. And if she don't, if she ain't with it, that mean that you ain't shit. That mean that you just not that nigga. And because if Chris Brown said that shit, a hoe still gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? If a up and coming nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like if you really somebody that hoe wanna fuck, she don't give a fuck. That hoe, she'll put the tape out herself, whatever. Because what I'm saying is, dog, when you a nobody and shit like that, you know motherfuckers treat you different. You shouldn't be indulging in that shit. No, I'm telling you, dog, until you reach your goal. Your goal is going to put you on a whole different plateau. You need to be all the way focused on getting there. If a hoe don't want to fuck with you on camera, because that means that she just don't feel like you that nigga. You should be offended by that and use that motherfucking anger and embarrassment as motivation and energy towards your goal. And that's the way that whole thing can work. Now, if you're not with that shit and you just, you feel like this shit just can't happen to you, rock out, dog. Rock out. But believe, from here on out, I'm going to be handling business as far as, and I'll, I'll put out the, the PSA, whatever like that, about what we're doing here at the Men 2 Movement. Um, and when I need everybody to do the petition, when I'm, you know, doing different things, whatever like that. But from here on out, I will be laughing at you niggas getting banned for this shit because I just gave you everything you needed. No bitch can be trusted right now. They've given a loaded gun to a adolescent. If you can't understand that, then whatever happens to you, happens to you. This Chris Brown shit, a bitch called, I, I don't, like, what the fuck can I, a bitch called rape. We've seen this, we, we, we've seen this. This is what's going on right now. R. Kelly, Bill, Cott, this is what's going on. The only difference is they don't, they, they're, they're discriminative, but not discriminative. They don't give up, they, they only want black men, but they don't care what black man, like a nobody ass black man or Chris Brown. We'll take all of them. And these bitches will hand you slap the fuck over. They are the right hand of white supremacy. Pure point blank. This is how we losing. Big Face Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco. Make sure you hit the PayPal and stay tuned. Everybody in A.O. Nation that is... Um, a part of the Men 2 movement or want to be a part of the Men 2 movement, hit my DM and uh, we're going to find a way that we all, I'm going to talk about it more today on the live that I have. Um, I need to put that shit in the beginning of this video, but we'll, I, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, hit my DM on Instagram, whatever like that, and we'll speak more about it. See y'all in a minute. Love.